graphic job. Okay. Oh, we're on. What do you mean, hold on? No, you no we're on. on. Oh, okay. Point the, well, put me on. I want number two. Can I help you? You want number two? <laughs> yeah, I want number two. I want to be, this is a monologue. All right. There you All go. Right. Can you hear me? Are you sure the levels are up? Yes, they're good. You sure? You yes. already checked. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's Mike back in there, our studio producer. But first of all, I want to do the monologue. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's me. Yeah, who gives a crap? <laughs> we got Mark here, too. You want to show him? Sure. Oh, go ahead. He was already on. <laughs> Switch back to me. Oh, wake up. I'm trying to do a monologue. Okay. Live from the Plymouth Area Community Television in Plymouth, Massachusetts, 02360 is Plymouth After Dark. The Plymouth... At the Pack TV World Headquarters. I don't know if I said that. I don't give a crap. I'm not going to take it again. Uh, what we're doing is we're here in the studio. We've taken over the studio, um, and we pointed one camera back towards Mike, which you've seen already. Thank you. Uh, a couple cameras towards the front, and we've got Mark Lord here with us, the director of Mark is God. Let's uh, have that graphic up there. I want to show them the graphic, and then we'll, we'll start talking about your show, Mark. See, it, what if I told you that Mark Lord is God? Would you believe it? Who, me? Why? Yeah, you. Me. Would you oh, believe it? I was waiting for a bus out here, and someone dragged me in here. And they said, why don't you sit down, and uh, you look like Mark Lord. And who is this guy, Mark Lord, anyway? Oh, he's a, he's a community producer here, oh, wow. and he has a show. He looks just like you. Always, well, the yeah, the dress, the scarf, and everything. Well, maybe it's me, but I'm not God. I know you're not God. I'm not God. I'm the Lord on earth, but I'm not the Lord of Well, Lord. I don't know if you're the Lord on earth. Oh, I, my last name's I, Lord. Let's see. Last time I checked, let me see right, my mom. That's right. Oh, so you, you, are, you are Mark then. Uh, don't ever say, oh, Lord, because you can call me Mark. Right. <laughs> okay, Mark. All right. Um, so basically, we're trying to have a good show with um, our friend Mark Lord. Uh, we did the last show, the first show, and we chased Mark Lord through the streets, and it just didn't work out. But now we've captured him looking for a bus. So he says, yeah, yeah, well, we well, took him Well, you're going to let me go. Come on. I need something to drink. I want to make a phone call. The man with the Uzi is over there, Are and you? he's got it pointed right at you. Okay. Oh, so, so try to be a little more, more cordial. Okay. Um, as, you, as you know, if you watch any Plymouth Area Community Television, Mark Lord is the renowned uh, former host of City Light City Streets Presents. Um, can we get a little... See Light Sea Streets out of your mark. See Light Sea Streets history? No, just say it. What? Just say Sea Lights. Sea Lights. Sea Streets. And? And I'm Mark. There we go. And this is Jason, and we're at Plymouth After Dark, man. Plymouth Why did you drag me in here anyway? I did dragged you, in here you because. Had some, you had some questions or something? Mark, you're an interesting person to have oh, online oh, oh. on the uh, television. And uh, you're always on anyway, so we figure why not put you in our time slot again? Again. For the second time. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people liked the show, they thought it was interesting, and they think you're an interesting guy. Oh. Uh, on the other hand, a lot of people Flattery. didn't we'll like the show. Now. And uh, didn't think you were an interesting guy. Yeah. And well, you know what I found, uh, Jason, matter. is that uh, well, I was talking to uh, a very interesting person here, uh, Kathy Hargraves, or Greaves, and she says that uh, she's a director here, and we were talking about how it takes years and years to know somebody. It takes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years to know somebody else. It, it's bad enough trying to know yourself, man. To try to get to know somebody else. I had a guy that boss stop me on the street and says, hey, I saw your show. And I said, oh, yeah. And he says, yeah, you're nuts, man. I said, what show did you see? And he said, uh, I saw three seconds of one show and I turned it off. Oh, please. Yeah, that's what he said. That's like our viewers. Yeah. But, you uh, know, it, they, don't, they won't turn you off because we're going to do something really drastic. At really the end of the drastic. show. At you the end just, of the show, we're going to do see. something really drastic. Yep, and we're and not going to tell you what it is. You'll know when it comes. At the my, end of the show. Yeah, my viewers will know that. You're, actually, Mark Lord's viewers already know what we're going to do. That's right. But we, our viewers don't. We, I sent all my fans a total of two uh, letters <laughs> stating what we were going to do, and, uh, and that's going to be good. Before we're going to uh, eat a beakless chicken. Yeah. Speaking of beakless chickens, didn't you have something you were talking about earlier about beakless chickens? Yeah, beakless chickens, uh, the scientific community has made chickens without beaks, so they lay more eggs. Scientific fact, would you believe it if I told you that? No. Well, it's true, and, um, and uh, they actually breed chickens without beaks. But, you know, I wonder if that little flappy thing, 
uh, is gone too. Good boy, am I going to miss that? What's that called? That's called the uh, effluvia. I think the effluvia, whatever it is, yeah. is a is a standard feature mark on the uh, the chickens. I don't think that that's going to come off, because that would just destroy the chicken. I think it would destroy the um, the psyche of, psyche of the chicken. Don't you think? The psyche. Hey, yeah. Yay. Well, actually, uh, you can neither destroy matter nor make it. So. That's absolutely true, and if you want to do a show on that, we can do that right now. The scientists are saying that no, that's not true. That that you can, you you should be able to create matter out of nothing. That perhaps that might be true one day. Well, the problem with uh, making matter actually is uh, in, in the beginning they they ask you know I don't know if you know they've they've outlawed uh, teaching I can't remember what state but they've outlawed teaching the Big Bang theory in a state. Um, I'll get well, that. I thought you. that was the Bible, wasn't it? Adam and Eve, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> that's what I always said. Huh? But I, I think yeah. that's the bigger Bang well, Theory. Well, you know, a lot of times they said that, that, that the civilized Jason started with the apple and the tree and Adam and Eve. It wasn't the apple and the tree and Adam and Eve. It was the pear on the ground. What was the pear about? Oh God! Excuse me. I'm not God. <laughs> oh Lord. Why oh, are you calling me, Mark? Uh, Mark. Well, actually, I want to I want to say something to our producer, uh, our yes. director back right, there. Can can we throw the director up? Yeah. I I'm want right color here. bars back here. You want color bars in the back? Yeah. I asked for that in the beginning of the that show. That was a good That was cool. Thanks. That was good. Yeah, you got out of that one. Uh, awesome. Up here on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We asked for that at the beginning of the show, and we just did not get it. Cool, man. Well, I got, got yellow it. on me. Intuition. You got red and purple, man, which is. Full speed libido. Can I ask one? Why do I have to be pink? Why do I have to be pink? Can you switch those color bars around? Switch them around? Yeah, make them reverse. I don't want to be pink. Make him pink. I can change the. I can be pink easy. I'm blue now. Am I blue? Mark, do you have the time? The the time is all relative to space. Never mind. He's not one. Nine o'clock show. No, I was just kidding. It was a it was a gay joke. I'm sorry. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, apparently homosexuals and and this is not our viewers, but they. Supposedly, if you ask someone the time and they say, I've got all the time in the world, then they, they're they interested. So I guess you're just not interested. That's a gay oh. thing. What was that noise? That's, that's my chair rolling around. No, actually, I think that's a caveman thing. Because when they used to hunt dinosaurs and stuff, and they say, hey, Brutus, you know the time? And that guy says, i got all the time in the world. There's no clocks, you nitwit. It's a caveman hey, thing. It isn't hey, Mike, a gay thing. Mike, you want to do a monologue for a minute? A monologue? Yeah, start About talking. what? Shut our mic off and start talking. And point the camera in there. Uh, I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> Do it, or I'm going to cut the mic myself. He needs the color bars. Yeah, the color bars. You I want me to like, just to talk for? I want to yeah. talk about. Um, Go ahead. I want to talk about like. Uh, <laughs> will you talk? <laughs> you got to talk, man. I want to talk. Uh, Mary had a little lamb. Let's talk about. All right, all right, all right. Well, while they're talking about something, uh, my name is Mike, and I've lived here in Plymouth for about uh, about a year and a half, and right now I'm functioning as four or five different people on this television show because we're short of staff and uh, we thought that we would just uh, throw a show together. So uh, I, they're signaling we're ready, but I'm just going to keep it going just for a few minutes. I'm sure they can hear me still, right? Yeah. So um, I'm going to be gone for about two weeks. I'm going to be taking a business trip to Germany and Switzerland. And uh, so we figured we would do a show now. We'd air it and then when I come back we can do some really, really nice shows. But this is just an experimental show. Uh, I mean, not, not our show is experimental. This one is because uh, this is a brand new studio here at Pack TV, and uh, we're just giving it a whirl. So uh, I'm going to turn it back over to um, to the guys out there. And that was Mike in the control room. Wait, Mike, first of all, we want the color bars back. You want the you color, want color bars, bars back. back? Jeez, you know. That's Can't hard to think help. of everything. Yeah, you know, he's thinking he wants to go to Germany. <laughs> what are you he's thinking <laughs> about you our color bars? Can't hire good help. You, you got know? your color bars. But uh, I like the idea Mike was telling us, you know, he's going to Germany. I love people that tell you stories of how they went to France and Germany. Like, we're peons. I thought as I ever went to New Jersey, you know what I mean? Like all these world travels, you know, I'll be going to Germany, eating nutcrust, sitting in the beautiful downtown Berlin, you know? Beautiful downtown Berlin. Beautiful downtown Berlin. East Berlin. What a rich history. Now, we might want to just delicately dance around that one. What do you want to know about World War II? Well, no, no. What do you mean? What do I want to know? Jason's the history buff right here, man. As you must he, know, he I am has, the history buff. He's the history buff. He's got every, you know everything about history. Ask him. I'll ask him any question. He'll know it, okay? But it's first, I just wanted, wanted to tell you that did you know Hitler was a vegetarian? Well, first, can I just check one thing? Are we recording? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you just fine. With no, Hitler was a vegetarian? He was? That's you got, news to me. Is that what you said? No, I thought you knew. What did you say? Oh, Hitler was a vegetarian. Oh. Hitler wouldn't eat meat. 
for the life of him, Hitler would not eat meat um, because he had that dog. Right again. Do you know the dog's name? Uh, Hitler's dog's name? I don't know it. OJ? It might have been OJ. But uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is he loved, yeah. well, you knocked that off. Uh, he loved the dog so much that he swore on the Holy Bible that he would never eat meat. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, you know, I was a cannibal at one time, and I stopped that practice. Then I became a masochist. And then I said, I better stop that practice because I don't want to eat me. <laughs> a cannibalistic masochist. Yeah. Do you know why clowns can't eat cannibals? Cannibals can't eat clowns? They no. taste funny. Not only are they funny, but they, they taste, taste funny. funny. So I guess nobody's going to eat you, Mark, because you, you must taste funny. Yeah. The bars are down. Well, they said that they ate a lot, a lot more English people. I think the cannibals in Africa is a fact that when they went on the safaris and stuff, they ate more English because uh, they ate a lot. Uh, um, they ate a lot of like scones and stuff. The well, bars are down. <laughs> well, you know, we want them up the whole time. Yes. I can't do that. Well, it's we want hard. them up for Pop them up design. again. I'll bring them up, but you know, it Some limits what I can do. Where over the rainbow, I am pink. Mike presses those buttons, but I don't think he thinks. <laughs> Don't there crack you on go, our, Mike. Don't, I didn't mean don't to crack on our stage director. I'm sorry, Reggie Biv. Oh. Oh yeah, put you in there. Let's see that. <laughs> wow, oh, that's man. pretty cool. Okay. You got indigestion. That'd be a good shot for indigestion. You know, I got indigestion. Have him go inside your stomach. You know, that'd be a good shot. <laughs> but let me ask you another historical question, okay. Mr. Jason. So historically, uh, I'm glad I can answer them. Yeah. Uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken or the egg. That's easy. Neither. Single-celled anemia. <laughs> anemia. Anemia. <laughs> what was that? A, a, amoebic anemic? No, anemia. Don't you know what anemia is? You mean amoeba? Anemia. No, I know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what an anemia What's an amoeba? Is. It's a single-cell animal. Yeah, but there's single-cell anemia. Oh, really? Yeah. What do they look like? They look like little sickles. Oh, are they bisexual or asexual? I believe they're asexual. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know why God didn't make us asexual. Then we could just reproduce ourselves. Imagine a thousand. He's got this whole thing about relationships and times and, you know. You, want, you, have, you have any word on marriage? Because you're married, right? Well, last time I checked. All right. So you have any anything uh, you want to tell them? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. But I really. All right. Well, they think you know somebody. Else marriage is a sanctuary, right? Yes. You want to get married? Then we can be a sanctuary. I don't really want to get married to you. What the hell is a sanctuary, anyway? You don't want to get married to me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you affirmed that. <laughs> Likewise, sir. Thank you. Just thought I'd let you know, Mark. Sheesh. Um, yeah, mo most of our viewers stuff. don't know Mark is obsessed with me. <laughs> don't let them know I said that. Huh? What? Who? Huh? But uh, what? sanctuary is uh, kind of like a haven, um, like a place where you can go over the rainbow. Over the rainbow. To, uh, to get away from it all. Did you know a rainbow is a complete circle? It's not an arc. It's a complete circle. A rainbow is a complete circle. But you can't see the other part. No, no. You know, they say, like, we'll go to the end of the rainbow, you know. That's like uh, an Italian way of saying, you know, go stand in a corner in a round room, you know. Go to the end of the rainbow. No, man, there ain't no end. They just keep going around and around. Well, you know, that might be metaphorically speaking because most people that tell you to do that probably want you to go around and around. Yeah. And around. <laughs> get, the hell, get the heck out of here, you know. Go, go, go take a long walk off a short pier and follow the rainbow. To the yeah, end. Yeah, the rainbow. And you know what's at the end of a rainbow, don't you? Yeah. Uh, Judy Garland. Fort in Knox. drag. Fort Knox. Oh, Fort Knox. Is at the end of a rainbow. Well, I thought the gay people were saying that over the rainbow, Judy Garland would be there in sequence gown. You want me to sing? Yeah, sure. Somewhere over the rainbow. I'm waiting for my mic. Yeah, that's it. I, you're off the air now. <laughs> that's just not going to work. I don't think you pulled us. He's just saying he did. No, I did. Turn us back on. You're on. All right. He turned you off singing? I don't know. Probably not. He okay. thinks he did. You can get it if you really want, but you must try, try and try. You'll succeed at West. last. Um, we're probably going to screw some things up with that, those color bars. People think we're whacked. No, you I want to throw something thing. else up? I think the color bars are good because the color bars are represent. Is that audio on now, too? Oh, yeah, it better be. Yeah, or else I'm firing my director. Well, it's hard to get good help, you know. I'll get another one. <laughs> but basically, is uh, the color is a representation of all the wavelengths that are going through the universe. So light is an indigenous uh, cosmic 
uh, life force, and it, it, and it symbolizes that life force, all color, rainbow. Let me ask you one question, Mark. And this is one of the, the biggest questions that I could ever ask uh -oh. of Mark Lord. A big question. And that is, is light a particle or a wave? They're both. They're wavicles. They came out and they said that well, they were wavicles. That's a scientific a fact. Wavicle. They're wavicles. And uh, the thing about the, 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 you know, there are atheists out there. Man, there are atheists. And they say, I don't believe in God. I'm not God. No, I'm not God. And there are people out there that believe in God and stuff and uh, rainbows and, uh, and light. And, uh, but there are atheists out there that don't believe in God. But they cannot say that there is no sun. Because the sun is a life-giving force, man, and there are a lot of people that believe in the sun as God. So whether atheists like it or not, man, when that sun rises, it's God. See, I don't believe in the sun. I think the sun's a total falsehood made up by producers who uh, think that it's a, a good thing to put up because it gives us light so we can see, but I don't think it's real. Well, there were a lot of people that say that uh, the landing on the moon was fake, that the Holocaust... It was. It was filmed right here in this studio. What do you think about the Holocaust uh, being fake? The Holocaust what? isn't fake, no. No, it ain't fake. That was filmed in live. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was just, that was bad. No, that was all right because... No, I mean, it was certainly a horrible, horrible it's a, time. It's a horrible time. You know about Zylon gas. I, I studied all that stuff. And uh, Hitler uh, wanted to kill as many people as he could as fast as he could. So they created this stuff called Zylon gas. And then they found out it took like 20 minutes to kill these people in the chambers, gas Wasn't chambers. Fast enough. So that they, what they did was they liquefied the Zylon gas and put them in hypodermic needles and they could kill someone in 20 seconds. So it was an order of magnitude gain. Yeah, I don't know how anybody could do that. Is there, let me ask the folks at home this question. Is there a difference between gassing thousands and millions of people or dropping a giant bomb on them? You know, what is that, the Geneva Convention? You know, you can blow them to bits, but you can't gas them, man. That's true, like the A-bomb, for instance. You know why it was the A-bomb? Is that when it blew up, they went, hey, ended the war, actually. Of course it did. It certainly did, flat as a pancake. There were three, thing. you know. I thought there was only two. Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and Hayasaki. Really? Hayasaki? Hayasaki. Oh, yeah, the Hayasaki one, yeah. I think there was, like, one Japanese guy playing Mahjong. Actually, like it was a sumo wrestler. It was a big threat to the American... What's so funny? Oh, no. It was a big threat to the American uh, Air Force because he was a huge sumo wrestler, and he could just take these planes out of the sky and destroy... He ate them for lunch. He was a big fat ass. Hey, I'm the big fat ass around here, all right? I'll be tiny little... No, big I'm saying there were three bombs. Well, I'll be tiny little big ass. But uh, anyway... Uh... <laughs> I don't know why a fat man and little boy... The uh, little boys in the studio. And I'm fat little baby ass. I'm fat man. What was that? But this is Plymouth After Dark with Jason. Seriously, I I wanna I wanna I wanna say something. What? Can I have the, uh, the 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 you know the thing up there? Well, you're gonna oh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna air your dirty laundry on the air now. You're gonna tell you're gonna berate him. You wanna whip? Give him fifty lashes. Get him in here. I'm Are just gonna ask to for help. We need people in the studio, down here at PAC, to run the lights, to run the cameras. You don't really run these lights. But we've got, we're getting feedback in here, by the way. Uh, we need people to line up guests for us. We need people to do uh, all sorts of things. And if you guys want to help, send email to... You got an email address in there, Mike? Yeah, send it to mcunning, M-C-U-N-N-I-N-G, at yahoo.com. <laughs> Make a graphic, M. Cunning, and uh, throw it Screw up. Screw you. <laughs> okay, that was enough of that. Well, see, they blink and they see they missed that anyway. But I would like to say that if they want to uh, contact me, too, at my address at 15, P.O. Box 1503, look at the camera, man, I'm at Massachusetts, man, I'm at Massachusetts, 02345, man, you can come on the show, man. Jason needs you, man. We, man, need, man. Pe we need people to carry us in here on Golden Thrones mm, and feed us peeled grapes, man, with stars now. You are not, you nitwits. That's right, Mr. Showbiz, right here. Just kidding. I love Actually, all people out there. no, he he does. He he really is. You should hear him talk about all the people. Yeah, out, people out. I don't even know. I see him on the street and I go, Jason, you. Know, I saw this guy the other day and I just wanted to hug and kiss him. You know. No, you've never said that yeah. to me. This is something you've never aired to me before. I never. I never. Brings a tear to my eye. I never said that. No, to him. no. But you know, he does say nice things about all of his listeners. And oh, I watchers. take that back. I I didn't really mean that. Was that email up on the screen changing sizes? It can't be. I, I screwed that up. Don't Wait, worry about who it. Who cares? I can't, I can't see it, first well, of all. Well, the people at home can't see it, man. You, you can't see it. you got to put it on the black, like on my jeans or something, which I don't advocate people looking at my jeans. 
Which is why they shouldn't be in the shot. There you go. Whoa. Speaking of jeans, hey, yeah, Yahoo. Do you Yahoo? Oh, I'm sorry. That can't have that. Um, but you know, you're talking about genes and stuff. The scientists are manipulating genes at a manipulating genes at an alarming rate. And uh, say that ten times fast. They're ellip they're ellipt ellipticating uh, genes to so that they're like elliptical shaped genes, and it's for people that have an elliptical shape. I yeah, don't know anybody like that. <laughs> what, Mark? Uh, you don't know anybody like that? I don't know anybody like that. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> I uh, was talking about genes and how the scientists are manipulating the genes where they're crossing animal genes with the human genes. Yeah. Okay, and why? Well, why? Because you know they, you, they figured that like if you have a good president like Clinton and stuff, they could mani they could like cross him with an octopus, so he could veto many bills at once and grab all those young girls in the office at the same time. Man, the babe stops here, man. The buck doesn't stop there, man. The babe. Yeah. <laughs> That's only eight. They're gonna have to like do a squid for Clinton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You're gonna have to do a squid. You said it, man. I'll Shoot the ink out and stuff. <laughs> That's why that'd be a good thing. You know, like he want to. Because he'd have his own ink. Yeah, and he could veto a bill. He could veto a bill across the room. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be particularly useful for Clinton. But they're trying to take the veto power away from presidents. Now. You can't take the veto power away from well, a president. Yeah, the president can't go in and say. They're taking away the veto power. They're saying, hey, President, we're taking away your veto power. You can't go into a country anymore and say, hey, I'm Vito. You're going to buy me now, man. <laughs> what if his name is Vito? Oh. The President. Yeah, like, the, like Bill Clinton, Bubba, Vito. What if the next President that we elect is Vito, like Corleone or something? No, it, it, that'd be a good name to name a kid, Vito. You know, Vito. Vito. How many Vitos do you think Abby Hoffman, uh, one of the revolutionaries of the 60s, he, he, uh, he um, names his child That's America. your time. America. That's well, that's everybody's time. It's history. Not mine. I mean, I, it's history. I wasn't alive then. Yeah, but you're talking about Hitler. That wasn't your time. You don't want to talk about it because it's let's Hitler. talk about the '60s. I'll tell you what. Why am I getting feedback in this mic? Hey, hey, hey! Just to let you know, we've got uh, we've only got a few minutes left. Who What's cares? That? Twenty-three minutes. We're gonna do two shows. Twenty-three then. minutes. Heck, We're I gonna do, do that. two shows back to back. Yeah. But we'll stop this one at um. Whatever. No, yeah. we won't either. But this is Mark. We need two tapes to do that. And this is Jason. No, you don't. Yeah, we you can do. we can copy it on later, bud. But we should have some sort of like end to it. All right, we'll end. Okay. We'll have some sort of end to it. How many minutes we got left? Um, it's up to 23. Well, basically, you know, like on my show, five minutes left. What I was gonna do is I was gonna have a uh, I was gonna show like a bare bum after each at the end of each show and say a, a, you know a new ending every week. What kind of uh, production? That's That'd when you put funny. up the production company. Yeah, screen. the bare bum. So what would you call the production company? A bummer, man. Bummer Productions. Um, if you want to come on Bummer Productions, just bring your bum over here and I'll put your bum on, all right? There's going to be a new bum every week. It'll be a new bum yeah, bum. every week. I'm but glad, you know, I'm glad you're might, saying the word bum. Yeah, but bum, yeah. I'll but the, but they might misconstrue that word, uh, Jason, because bum, we, you know, we'll get like these homeless people like, hey, man, I heard that you want to put some bum on the show or something. Like, you know, we'll put him on. Well, he'd be a bum. Be a bum. Um, how are we doing on time, Mr. Choreographer? Uh, we've got some time. I'm trying to make up a title for the end of our show. Oh, good. Oh, we, we got plenty of time. Then. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I, I really do want to wrap it up, actually. Uh, Mark, really? I want to thank you for okay. coming. And, uh, uh, okay. We're going to have you on our next show, as a matter of fact. Okay. Should I get up now? No, do don't, don't leave. Room? Stay do here. I need you. Do I, I get need squid? you here. Do I, can I eat sandwiches? Squid? Bologna sandwiches? If you come to Newport, Boil I'll tell you. Bologna sandwiches? Newport? Come to Newport. Come to Newport. I'll get you some squ sandwiches? fried squid. Oh. How about some duck heads? I don't do duckheads. That's Mike's department. All right, man. See you later, man. Wait, I wait, no, go. no, no. I, I, I want to say I want to say a few words before but you I, leave. But I was going to uh, leave now, but I want to, I want to go up to when I leave. That's fine. All right. Uh, I just want to let you know at home, we did say some stuff tonight that might be construed as derogatory, no. but we don't mean any harm in, in what we say, and we're just trying to get messages out and construe some ideas. I may not be the best person to talk to about history on this show. You mean misconstrue ideas, Mr. Jason. Well, misconstrue the ideas. Okay, thank you. For, for comedic effect, of course. But uh, neither of us uh, hate people, and we want you to know that. you have any closing remarks, Mark? I hate everybody. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, All right, bye. I gotta that's go, enough man. for you, man. I gotta go. See ya. Bye. That was great being on our show, guys. See you next week. All right, don't forget your mic there. Oh, you don't have one. Forget it. Are we done?
No, we've still got uh, three minutes left. All right, this is Plymouth After Dark, and we may not be the best show on Earth, but we're better than all the rest. <laughs> Actually, that's not entirely true, and you walked in front of my camera. Sorry. That's not entirely true. We're not, we're not the best show. It's we're getting there. We've got a lot of uh, interesting stuff for you. We want to have your bands on. We want to have, if you've got bands, if you've got anything interesting you, you want to talk about on a show, this is a nighttime format, and basically that means we can talk about anything we want. Give your address again. We can, uh, what? Give your address again. Oh, uh, yeah, show up the address. It's, Leave uh, that on there now. Bye. Mcunning For the whole end of the at show. At yahoo.com. Um, Keep that on there now. We want you to get a hold of us. Do you, Yahoo? What? No, that, that's enough of that. That's commercial. Uh, oh, you should have the end on there. Put that in. Yeah, leave it on. Leave it on, Mike. Do that to the end of the show. Yeah, and just put it up and uh, you can... You prefer it. What? I always refer to it. Yeah. It's on the bottom of your screen there, folks at home. Um, the ad symbol is something that you can find. Let me ask you some questions. Tell me to go back to the full shot. Go to the full shot. We'll say that. What do you want? Sure. What do you want? How long we got left? I just want to know. Oh, we've got uh, one and a half minutes. Okay. Well, I, I, I think that uh, we're about to wrap it up. And throw the camera on me because, uh, no, no, just, just on me. This isn't normally how uh, shows are done on uh, PAC TV. Um, normally they're done a little bit more hectic or a little bit more normal. But uh, if you want to be on PAC TV just on your own, you've got to come down to the studio, uh, 130 Court Street Rear. Get yourself uh, signed up as a member. Rare. Rare. Get yourself signed up as a member. Go through the training. Dave and Dan are great on that, and uh, we want you to. We want. We want to see your shows on here, and we want to see you on here, um, especially if you're an interesting artist or you've just got some story to tell. Um, I'm going to walk out here right now, and Mark's going to do the uh, the rest of the show. Oh. He doesn't know it though. That's oh. the surprise. That's the That's surprise. The surprise. <laughs> All right. Throw it up on Mark. What do we do? How long do I got? You got this camera. I don't know whatever the, the ending is. He'll let you know. He told me it was a minute and a half. I got 10 seconds. All right. We don't, I don't know what's going on. The show's going to end in 30 seconds, Mark. Hey, how you doing, seconds. man? Show me, man. What's happening, man? I'm glad you watched the show. How you like that guy? Hey, Jason. He was good, wasn't he? Talk about all that historical insignificance, man. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Hitler was a vegetarian. Yeah, like, right, like, we care? Who cares about that idiot anyway? And who cares about history in general? We're making history here, man. We're, we're, we're starting a new constitution, man. We're forging our own gold. This is your PAC TV, man. And remember, you can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really want, but you must.